So note that uh, you got the Lonely Island uh, with T-Pain in lieu of uh, the third guy. I can't remember. They didn't take him on a boat trip. Anyway, um, the published data would be something like uh, in real life. You would get, you know, that the lighthouse was 1,000 feet high. And then T-Pain would be using a device to figure out this angle. That angle is the angle of elevation. It's measured from the horizontal up. I will say that again. It's measured from the horizontal up. Angle of elevation, elevator. Okay? Angle of elevation measured from the horizontal up. Note that we're going to get a right triangle here. Okay? And with this 1,000 feet and this angle of elevation, which we would typically give you, at least in a boat lighthouse type problem, um, we'd give you like, I don't know, what's that? Uh, 22 degrees, something like that. And then the question would be how far away from cliff or distance to cliff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're talking about this horizontal distance. We're looking for x, for instance, and it's that distance right there. Okay? So from the boat to the cliff. So how would we figure that out? Let's go to uh, split screen. Uh, page and let's go figure that out. So it's really just right triangle trig. And so we're going to use a trig ratio, sine, cosine, or tangent of theta. And of course in right triangle trig, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So with right triangle trig, we would set up, we would choose the ratio that has both the opposite and the adjacent and an angle. Well, they all have an angle. This one has an opposite and adjacent, so we're really going to go with tangent. So we'd set up tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And then substitute tangent of 22 degrees is equal to the length of the opposite leg divided by the length of the adjacent leg, which is x. Now note the, uh, the variables in the denominator. I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Once I multiply both sides by x, oops, I want that to be a 22, 22, 22 degrees, I will be left with 1,000 feet on the right and 22 de tangent 22 degrees times x on the left. Divide both sides by tangent 22. Why? Because tw tangent 22 is simply a number. The ratio of the opposite leg divided by the adjacent leg for a 22 degree angle. And we will get x equals 1,000 feet divided by tangent of 22 degrees. I'll slam that in the calculator. So that's going to be 1, 1, 2, 3, divided by, make sure you're in the right mode, which in this case is degrees. And I get, they are 2,475.086853, rounded to the nearest tenth in this case, 2475.1 feet from the cliff or the white lighthouse, depending on you know what the setup is. Uh, and it's pretty gonna be pretty straightforward. So when we're talking about I probably won't work the, through the whole problem because I want this to render quickly and uh, get this to you. If I'm talking about they're in a uh, now our trio with T Pain uh, and the boys are in a space shift spaceship so they're in the shuttle, and they're going to drop drop some, I don't know, drop something down on, I don't know, whatever. They're going to drop this uh, giant muffin. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, they're going to drop a giant muffin, but they have to actually see a town because of the speed at which they're going. They have to lead it. So this town is going to be, their space shuttle's flying across outside, just, in, just inside the atmosphere, and they're going to drop this uh, giant muffin down and feed the town from, I don't know, I'm making stuff up out of the blue. So if you were given an angle of depression, that would be angle of depression. Angle of depression is measured from the horizontal, which this is now the horizontal. It's the same as this horizontal, but we're going to measure it down. And so if they said angle depression uh, uh, equals 80, or excuse me, 62 degrees, then this would be 62 degrees. 
Note that this horizontal is parallel to the horizontal down here, which is the Earth, and it's an approximation, of course. This 62 degrees is the same as the angle of elevation, 62 degrees. Why? Because they're alternate interior angles with a transversal through parallel lines. So that goes back to geometry. So angle of depression and angle of elevation, they're the same idea, just applied differently. It's never this guy. It's always measured from the horizontal down or the horizontal, or the horizontal up, okay? So that's that.